my dear students in this video i'll be introducing you to the concept of linked list using a treasure hunt game it's a game let us consider treasure hunt game treasure hunt is a clue game this treasure hunt game is a clue game it's based on some clues n teams are selected for final stage by some selection criteria so totally in the finals there are n teams each team consists of a rider and a pillion navigator so two people are there in each team each team should have a two wheeler they should have a two wheeler all teams start from the same place all the teams start from the same place yes the teams have to go to the next places based on the clues provided to them they have to find what is the next place based on the clue the place name will not be given a clue will be given based on that clue they should find the next place that's how the game goes now all the teams will get different clues at every place because if they get same clues they all will go together no they all will be given different clues at every place the team that reaches the final destination first will be the winner yes let us assume all the teams start this game from bms college of engineering bangalore so from our college all the teams will start this game let us track team 1 let us track team 1 now team 1 also starts from bms college of engineering yes yes starting address is bms college of engineering this is our college bms college of engineering okay this is my temple bms college of engineering now team 1 gets the clue go to the place where you find the biggest shiva temple so team 1 gets the clue go to the place where you find the biggest shiva temple now all of you start thinking in bangalore which place you get the biggest shiva temple in bangalore all these clues are with respect to bangalore city so think all of you which place you get the biggest shiva idol in bangalore it is kem4 now team 1 has to go to kem4 at the old airport road there is the biggest shiva idol kem4 old airport road there you get the biggest shiva idol yes this is the shiva idol i think you can see that uh, shiva idol also lord shiva idol so now from bms college they should go to kem4 where they will find the biggest shiva idol now at kem4 team 1 gets the clue go to the place where you find the biggest krishna temple so in bangalore where do you get the biggest krishna temple big krishna temple i think this is quite easy team 1 has to go to iskon temple near eshwantpur iskon temple there you get the biggest krishna temple so from kem4 you should go to iskon temple this is the iskon temple i think you can see the picture this is the iskon temple yes now at iskon temple team 1 gets the clue go to the theater which is named after a river which takes birth in karnataka and flows to tamil nadu you should go to the theater which is named after a river and the river takes birth in karnataka and flows to tamil nadu which is that river start thinking which is that river and which is that theater that river and theater it is kaveri theater now team one has to go to kaveri theater on the airport road yes ballari road airport road kaveri theater so this is our kaveri theater from iskon team one has to go to kaveri theater yes now at kaveri theater team one gets the clue go to the place where you will get plenty and variety of flowers in a big garden so in bangalore which is that place where you will get plenty and variety of flowers in a big garden it is lal bag so now team one has to go to lal bag yes yes this is the picture of lal bag so from kaveri theater team one has to go to lal bag now at lal bag team 1 gets the clue carefully understand this clue go to the theater 
which is named after the dancer of Indra's palace, starting with the letter U. So it should be a theatre. It is named after dancers of Indra's palace, and the dancer's name will start from letter U. So which is the theatre? Urvashi theatre. Now team one has to go to Urvashi theatre. Yes, this is Urvashi theatre. You can just see this is Urvashi theatre near Lal Bagh. So from Lal Bagh, team one has to go to Urvashi theatre. Now at Urvashi theatre, team one gets the clue. Go to the place where you see lot of trains in the center of the city. Carefully understand this. Go to the place where you see lot of trains in the center of the city. So where you get lot of trains in the center of the city? It is the Kesa railway station. So team one has to go to Kesa railway station. Kranti Vira Sangulli Rayana railway station. Kesa stands for Kranti Vira Sangulli Rayana. So team one has to go to Kesa railway station. This is our Kesa railway station, the main railway station of Bangalore. Now, the Kesa railway station is the last place in this game, and whichever team reaches this place first is the winner. So, whichever team reaches the KSR railway station first is the winner. That's all the uh, treasure and game. And uh, let us assume this is the uh, last. Uh, we have assumed that KSR railway station is the last place. There ends our treasure and game. Now, we shall represent the sequence of places traversed in two different cases as follows. Let us uh, refresh. Where did we start? We started from BMS College of Engineering. From BMS College, where did we go? We go to we went to Kemford, where we got the biggest Shiva idol. From Kemford, we got we went to Iskon Temple. From Iskon Temple, we went to Kaveri Theater. From Kaveri Theater, we went to Lal Bagh. From Lal Bagh, we went to Urvashi Theater. From Urvashi Theater, we at last came to KSR Railway Station. So this sequence of places. We will represent like this. You can just see here. What is the start? Case 1. What is start address? BMSE. At BMSE, what address you got? You got the address of Kemfort. Meaning clue. Clue for the address of Kemfort. At Kemfort, what did you get? You got the uh, clue for ISKCON. At ISKCON, you got the clue for uh, Kaveri Theatre. Address of Kaveri. And at uh, Kaveri Theatre, address of Lal Bhag. At Lalbagh, address of Urvashi, clue for Urvashi. At Urvashi, you got the clue for Kesa Railway Station. Kranti Vira Sangoli Rayana Railway Station. And at Kesa Railway Station, you did not get any clue. That was the end of the game. Therefore, we write the end. This is one type of representation, case 1. What is the other type of representation, case 2? We don't write in English. Instead, we use arrows here. Start. BMSC is the start. At BMSC, we get the address of Kemfort. At Kemfort, we get the address of ISKCON. At ISKCON, we get the address of Kaveri Theatre. At Kaveri Theatre, we get the address of Lalbagh. At Lalbagh, we get the address of Urvashi. At Urvashi, we get the address of Kranti Vira Sangoli Rayana Railway Station. And we write that slash. That is the end. That is null. Okay. Now, carefully understand. Which representation did you like? Case 1 or case 2? I think most of you may like case 2 representation. Very less to write. Using arrows you can uh, connect the sequences of, sequence of places. So case 2 is better. I tell you, case 2 representation you have seen here. Exactly like that linked list will be represented. Singly linked list. Especially singly linked list. So case 2 representation is exactly similar to the representation of Singly linked list. Carefully understand whatever happens in treasure and game, exactly the same thing happens in linked list. That too, singly linked list. Okay. Therefore, complete under percent analogy is there with respect to treasure and game and singly linked list. Now, very, very important two points. Linked list programming is just like playing treasure and game. So how you play treasure and game, like that only you should do linked list programming. Second most important point is 
you should enjoy linked list programming just like playing transcendent game if somebody says sir i learned linked list programming no sir i studied linked list programming no you should actually enjoy linked list programming just like playing transcendent game it is as simple as that and also linked list programming should become very natural for you see you should become natural programmers okay whenever you are uh, doing linked list programming just remember the transcendent game adding places in between or deleting places or traversing places so all these same kind of thing will happen with respect to linked list also i hope all of you will enjoy linked list programming just like playing treasure and game